if it gets stuck, then I'm screwed. It's a visual. Hmm? That's a visual. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to Less Cash, More Mash. My name's Tom. And I'm Mike. And today, we're cracking open a semi-new bottle of Jesse James American Outlaw Bourbon. So this bottle comes via super fan of the channel, Steve, brought it over. Uh, we had sampled it, me and him. You have yet to have it. Uh, I don't have a lot of info on this one. I didn't take the little sticker off. It was $15.99. It's 80 proof. Uh, so supposedly the, a musician and a TV celebrity, Jesse James Dupree, and his bus business partner, Neil Levesque of Levesque Corp. I don't know either one of the two. It's who spearheaded this. And he, he basically said, you know, I might be the face behind the whiskey, but this is for the hard work and outlaws that do 40, 50 hours a week and don't get the credit and stuff. So I don't know much about it. It's made at the Jesse James Distillery in Londonderry, New Hampshire. Yeah, we're going to try it Which today. is close. Yeah, not, that, not too bad. Not too far. But he, uh, I don't, we did this a while ago. This has been up on the shelf for a while. Uh, I won't give any of my opinions until you try it, but we're going to give it a shot. Now, and keep in mind, it's $15.99 and 80 proof. So that, that, that's going to, you can start off with that. We have to factor that into the equation. I'm sure we've had worse. Oh, yes. The nose doesn't I, fact, jump out right off the I, bat. I'm but. sure we have worse that's probably right off of my right shoulder somewhere. <laughs> It is actually, considering it's an 80 proof whiskey, to me, it's giving me, but it's giving me that muted caramel smell, like, like when, Very we, were, muted, when we were in this land of the, you know, 15, 20 dollar bourbons when we first started out. You know what I mean? It doesn't have a bad flavor. It's got a, a sweetie, caramely flavor. I didn't read the bottle. It does. does it, it really, what, it really you know what it much. reminds me of? It reminds me of my 10 high. That's what it, that's what I, it I brings. I don't think it's that sweet. But that's what it's bringing me to. It's, it's, there's, no, there's no harshness to it. It's, it's, it's just... A it's sparkle it, maybe, but... Oh, correct. But, it, it, okay, so... It, like, it's not out. No, don't, if, yeah. if I was going to compare it to, like, say, the Evan Williams down here, that would have more of a bite. It, it's a little more Probably aggressive, would. a little more Probably complex. Would. This just kind of brings me to a, man, that's not bad. You know, for fifteen ninety nine, it, it, it bad, it's not bad type of a thing. And if, if you're a mixer, then you didn't, you're not going to go wrong. I think it, it mix up fine. Yeah. No, what, that's kind of. You know, you're not taking a $40 bottle and mixing it with Coke. Like, if we're going to compare it to anything on here, would it make the shelf? Hell no. Not even no. close. But no. did, did it beat yeah. a lot of the other ones that we've had before? Nah, it, it's 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 not bad. You can't beat the price. First of all, fifteen ninety nine. We can compare it to if you wanted. This is this is also what is this? I got the handle. I don't think. I think this is eighty six proof, right? Evan Williams. Yeah, it's eighty six. Because that'd be the green. Or or the green one. Yeah, we we could do it with the the green one was eighty proof. If you wanna if you wanna compare it to something, it's up to you. But I mean, it brings us in that realm where it's 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 not offensive in any way. No. You're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna buy it and say, "Oh, I'm gonna break it down and it's complex and no, no, it doesn't have not. a huge mouth feel no. and it's not oily mm -hmm. or any any." No. It's 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 a fifteen ninety nine. You know, what I mean, don't get me wrong. Take the fighting cock and stick it up against that, and that would smash it. You know what I mean? But this uh, is even like even early times. Oh no, that's not even close. That, that's not even close. That, that's so. This is phenomenal. a. It's you know. It kind of reminded me probably of the green one, the green Evan Williams, where it was just kind of like, that's not bad, but I bet that still has a little more. I think that has it. more flavor. I think, I think so. This definitely brings us back to when we first started. And, and funny, I bring that up because if you go back and watch any of the early ones when we had like one or two bottles, it's actually comical to see. It, it was because I, I have gone back to mm -hmm. where there's like six of them back here. Mm -hmm. Or even worse, when we had, we didn't even have the rack. 
and we had we just got the rack and that and it was echoing yep no i actually it was funny because I, I went back and i looked at one of them and, it, and i think it was the first time you were on and you were like my special guest and yeah. it was knob creek i like there was a couple episodes in a row i'm like oh, i got a very special guest coming oh. on today and it's just funny when you go I back and say. see you know when you go back and see you know not that we're that much better now, but it just, no, it but, just but all, like, all the guys I work with, they're like, Mike, you should be doing shots before you even start because you look like an ass up there. Oh, so. when you went <laughs> on your first one because you're like, whoop, that's whiskey. I mean, as you keep drinking this, this isn't bad. We definitely have it. You know, it, what comes to mind, and I, my, it doesn't come to mind because uh, I can't think it, of it. But remember the whiskey. You're not going to be screaming, this is a great nose or anything on this. No, no. No, it, it's it's just not a bad bourbon. No, it's not. It, it's not going to. It's not a blend. It's not going to rock your world. It's right. This this something you know where, what was that? S. S. Pierce or uh, Old Crow? Right. Uh, Henry McKenna, the straight one. Right. I think it would I, it would mix with all of those, all of all of the handles that we had that were Even relatively. Henry McKenna might be a little above this. I'm just saying, like I'm I'm bring, it it's bringing it us is, back to that, that right. realm that of when we did it. You know, it's not bad. Oh. And if you don't want to really think, and you're not trying to break it down, and you're gonna get the caramel. It's got a little of the, like. I'm a little bit not with a banana bread, but like like a zucchini bread, but nothing's overpowering. It's just kind of. No. And if Jack's too harsh, mm -hmm. this would be a good alternative. Mm. I don't find any aggression whatsoever in a no, drink. It's, like it's, it, it drinks it, super easy. It does. Yeah, I'm not getting any. Like you said we, we, in the beginning, like when we drank Jack, we thought it was aggressive and stuff. To me, this is like it, it's it's in like a Jim Beam too. Jim Beam might have a little more nose. I think it did. I think it did. That's why it's I was kind of going with like, the. Uh, There's something else in here. Hmm. Eh, it's not uh, bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not nothing to rave about. But if you got, you know, if you just want to grab something different and you don't want to spend it can a lot almost of money. even go to like the total line picks type deal. It kind of falls into the Winchester or that where. They're inexpensive and they're a mock-up per se. That's what I was trying to remember the name what? of the one. Total wine. What's the other one? Total... Remember the, the something haze that said this is the last Hayes bourbon you'll ever haze Parker. This I think smashes that. You know what I mean? If, if you go back to the to the Nash the Nestvilles that we had, this is better. What's that other you, store that I went to there? Cappies? Trader or Joe's. Oh, they got, oh, when they, you they got the Trader Joe's. They, yeah, they, they got two of them. So it's kind of yeah. it kind of brings me to that land of mm -hmm. it's they're trying to create something similar. Mr. It's not bad. It, it actually has, the more I keep drinking it, the more that whole caramel, it really does. Actually, you know, it brings now me it's, back to 10 high. It it's really bringing does. me, I'm almost getting a little butterscotch. So be on, well, if it sits in there, it's almost on the, the, the benchmark side now. I'm not getting butterscotch, but it may, if it sits in the glass long enough. The more I drink it, it I, I'm not, I don't mind it. I like it better. I mean, we st this is the first one it's we've a sweet had one. and stuff like that, so it's not bad. Like, but if, I mean, if we would have drank something before it and went to it, we would probably be like, uh, "Yeah, that's not going to work." Yeah. Right. So but if it's you actually start better, with this, it was probably better. Yeah. You know, if you actually start with this and and you and you, it's not. Again, it's this. It's no not as well known. So if you yeah. if you bring it out and you break it out somewhere, not a, I bet a lot of not a lot of people have tried it. And if you read the, the, the it was deceiving because it, it, it was all about the guy. And I don't know him. He might be a great musician or a TV celebrity. I don't know who he is. I guess he's getting a, He has some something going on the History Channel. That's what was going to make him a thing. But I don't, I don't really know much about him. But when you read the stuff on the bottle, it's all about, like, Jesse James, the it, original well, outlaw. That's what I was saying. When you're yeah. saying this, I'm like, I don't know what you're getting at because it doesn't say anything on that on here. But Because the guy who actually spearheaded that. behind it, right. That's where he got the name from, and I guess so. Uh, you know, it does say London Berry, Jesse James. It's all it's all yeah. about the six shooter that he had. And exactly. You, you read the thing; it's all about the Colt, you know, that that he that he shot with and stuff like that. So overall, we can leave it at that. We can keep this one short and sweet. I I I would get this again. It's something that I wouldn't like. You know what I mean? Like if I wanted a quick fix and I couldn't find anything else I want, would I get Evan Williams bottle and bond over it? Yes, I would. Is uh, it the same price? Sure is. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, so is. I would get that. Yeah, right. It's a hundred proof. I would. It's a hundred proof. Right. You know, but or or you know, I paid twenty two for the handle, but I, these are usually fourteen ninety nine for the black label Evan Williams. I like that. It's a little more aggressive. It brings a little more to the table to me. But overall, I don't find anything offensive about it. No. I would definitely get no. it again. You know. So, well, there you go. We can keep this one 
short and sure. sweet. So there you go. There's our review of Jesse James Outlaw, American Outlaw Bourbon Whiskey. So uh, that being said, this fits in the categories. Spend less, uh, drink more. Cheers. cheers. And subscribe. And subscribe. Stop it.